Good morning, we're getting the trip underway. Long story short, Rod and I were meant to go on a massive trip up north. It was gonna be cool, we're gonna take the skiffs up, but turns out he couldn't get the time available. He just sprung it on me on like Tuesday and said, Rod, let's go to, let's just go somewhere this weekend for a couple of days. And I was like, well, I really wanna go cod fishing. So we're heading out to Glenline Dam for a bit of a cod fish. Uh, rung the bloke out there, he reckons it's going off, but if that's the only thing that could get people to my caravan park, that's also what I'd say, so I'm not sure how good it's going, but he's like, oh, there's like a metre 10, a metre, and a 97 being caught in the last couple of days, so actually pretty keen. Um, so much to do, we kind of, it's a last minute trip. We're doing a quick stop down at a local Tweed Tackle Marine. To get some, get some cod lures. Morning. Morning. How are you? Let's do it. Let's find some lures. What do you got from there, Rodney? <laughs> this is what he said flatbacks. I rung the guy at the caravan park and he said flatbacks that make a lot of noise. Yep. So said, anything like these. Yeah, I reckon I'm going to grab maids. one of them. What yeah. colour? I reckon I'm going to go yellows because I'm thinking they're all feeding on the yellow bellies because there's massive yellow belly population Heaps out there. at the moment. So I'm going to take yellows. The, the buzzers have been... Yeah, I, gonna... I just topped these up again. Did you? Yeah. People buying them. But I had That's these... Just on double hooks, and that's all I've got left after four days. Really? Why are people buying buzzers? They look like a weird one. They're I was going to do a video on it. Let me know if you want to see a video on one of these things. <laughs> the weirdest lure. Well, they're a double propeller. I reckon that's a killer. That's that, a big the, cod, the, the, cod spin Yeah, I had, I had a guy come in yesterday and buy nine of them. Nine? Yeah. Of the big one, the one ounces? Yeah. So, right, um, we're down, we've got two lures so far. We're still on a budget, Rodney. <laughs> still broke as hell, so we can't go. We can't go too extreme. It's been a while since I've been in a tackle shop. I haven't been able to afford to come in. Yeah, that's got a bit. That's got cod written all over it. And what's the return policy like if they don't work? Bring them all back. I'm not a cod expert. I mean, me neither, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. some rookies going out to a dam. They make a lot of noise. We got they're full of ball bearings. Oh yeah. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks, mate. Rodney's just kindly given me all the lures that I've picked out. <laughs> oh, look at that. Shimmy, shimmy. What do you reckon? Do I go this one or not? Oh, I reckon I reckon we go it. Righto, I'm going to do it. If not, it's always in the tackle box for a rainy day. That's it. That's what we're going with. We're going with Strike Crow. Who's this? Handmade in Australia. Tailor made. Yeah. Look at that. One of them. Support the Aussie lures. I reckon that's going to be the winner of the weekend. One ounce striker spinner bait in the gold. River to sea. Never thought I'd own one of them, but I'm about to. And what's this? A mimics. A mimics. That thing. And then Rodney's kindly gifted me a Kokoda little vibe. We're away. Rodney looks after me. Thank God he does, because I was dreading the cost of that bill. Just finished packing. Was meant to do this hours ago, but got let late at work. Look at this. Check this out. Just gotta go pick up Rod now and then we're on our way to the shops. Man, it's so dark already. Oh, I just chucked everything in. I was like, you know what? I'll just sort it out Saturday at Pern Line. Go and get Rod and let's hit the road. Hope everything survives the trip and I wish my car would just start first time. First time every time. You ready, mate, or what? Oh, it's all blurry. Oh. <laughs> mate, look at it. <laughs> I don't think I have enough room for really? your star. No. Really? <laughs> no, uh. plenty. I just threw everything in the car, so it's gonna be an absolute nightmare when we get there in tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we'll That's see how right, we go. Though. That's all right. Check it out, just enough room for all of our gear. We're gonna hit the road and ready to go. It's gonna be a nightmare when we get there. We got, I gotta sort so much stuff out, but so Saturday morning might be a little bit of a get to know the area thing, and then we're gonna hit it hard from there. It's pitch black. This is meant, we were meant to be driving into the sunset, but turned out much later than we expected. Oh, <laughs> this is full vlog. Does that yeah. actually work? Yeah, it works. That's why, oh, really? this, we're still in use. Yeah. This is, yeah, this is because GoPro didn't replace my GoPro. Uh, you guys that's, can't see it, but the front's crazy. off to fix it. If it's I had to fix works, it myself. That's crazy still. I wish we could get some six drive off into the sunset shots, but it's just going to be pitch black B-roll, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what everyone loves to see. <laughs> 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 Right. right, let's yeah. do it. We're hitting the road, Rod. Rod's had like 17 yeah. beers already. Oh, there we go. We're away. Let's go to Macca's. Good morning. Rod and I made it down last night at probably 11 o'clock. We were making good time up until the last like 50k. 
you would not believe how many kangaroos were on the road and how many dead kangaroos. I reckon in 50k we passed about 300 dead kangaroos that got cleaned up and we nearly cleaned up three. So I was driving like 40k under the speed limit the last 50k's. But we got here, we unpacked, Rod slept in his tent. We didn't have KFC, they just empty boxes. That's our camp set up. That's where I slept. We've got zero food, so we probably won't be on the water long for this morning. It's kind of like a fact-finding mission. We've got to go get food and everything once we're all settled down. I bought with me three water bottles. Rod bought 10 beers. I still have my water bottles, but I can't say the same about Rod's beers. <laughs> We are the most unorganised people there are, so we don't have any food, literally just water. So this should be a fun weekend. Nah, we'll sort it out when, after our first little mission. So we're just going to take it pretty chill this morning. Just going to go down, suss it out, have a bit of a flick around, but then hopefully by this afternoon we'll have it sussed and we can hit it hard this afternoon, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon and Monday morning before we leave. So. Yeah, plenty of time. Yeah, we just got to get our bearings because we rocked in like late, late last night. We didn't even know where the water is. We don't even know if this is where we were meant to camp. There was no maps or anything given to us. It's not our number, but we couldn't find our number, so we just just parked her up. Ridge ready to go. Rod's ready to go. The 300 layers on. I got thermals, ponchos, jackets, gloves that I found while fishing last year. Hats, beanies. Oh, got everything. Trackies, uggies, socks. It's cold, it's probably, what do you reckon? I'd say about it's, two or three. It's, I reckon it's the zero. Zero? It was meant to be zero. Rod's a bit of a silk. Weather. Negative four tomorrow, <laughs> not looking forward to that at all. Big, big cod. That's what we came out here for. Yeah. Gonna take the boat oh. down and get her on the water and go for a little flick, I reckon. Let's do it. Let's start some cameras. Say cheese. Why didn't that turn on? Oh, there we go. Get her in the water. Yeah. And my hands, they're holding that rope. <laughs> oh, you're lucky you got gloved, yeah, because you got to have your hands out. I just try to tuck mine in my pockets. Yeah. You got a windproof. Right, first cast. Yeah, how good does that look? Got me surface lure on. We should probably be finding a little bit smoother water. I don't know. Well, the bloke told us to pick the eastern side of the bank. Man, if I saw a swirl behind my lure that big, like a normal lure, I'd think there's a fish following it. <laughs> oh, there's a whole school of them. What do you call a school of uh, flock of goats? Is it a flock of goats? Water temp, 15 degrees. So the guy informed me on the telephone when I was booking the camping that you should fish the eastern side in the morning because the sun would have set over the west causing the rocks to be warmer on the east and then the western side in the afternoon. We are on the eastern side. The sun is about to pop over the hill by the look of it. Yeah, we picked a pretty steep bank and I'm not sure if that's the right idea. Oh well, we've got three days to work it out. Come on, Cod. My goodness. I'm gonna put gloves back on. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can say Glenline Dam on camera. Cause it's not like we're showing everyone the secrets. <laughs> Made a bit of a change. I went from the top water, nothing on top water this morning, which was a bit devastating, but we didn't really give it a good crack this morning cause we didn't really get up as early as we wanted to. 
we had to kind of suss out. <laughs> Where we were. Man. Yeah. So we're going to work back the same bank we worked with top water this morning, but this time we're going to use baits. I've got a big one ounce spinner bait on with a big floppy razor edge lure, fat boy six inch. I want to upgrade from 80 centimeters. It's my goal. But I would also just like a fish, to be honest. We're three and a half hours in. No fish. I'm going to do a bit of yoga. It's cool that you've got room to do it, eh? Yeah. Ah! It's always good to start the day with a bit of yoga. There we go. I'm all good again. Many cars. Tim tells me this is the fish of 10,000 cars. And uh, we've, or and we've already done 25,000 this morning. I reckon you've done 300 cars. Yeah. But 200 in the trees. We're probably going to pull up stumps and go check out some more of the dam while it's looking crystal clear. Look at this. Check out my B-roll. There we go. Just changing over to a vibe. No luck on my spinnerbait. Oh. Just about to call it quits on the first session and we have not had a bump. We're gonna go sort out accommodation and some food. And then we'll jump back on this afternoon. What do you reckon, Rod? Yeah. Right, done for session one. What a session, slaying them. Just about to head out on take two. Part one was a bit of a fail. We were talking to some of the local, well, not some people that have fished here before at the campground. What are you doing? Just wrecking my boat. <laughs> Anyway, so we made a quick run into town to get some food because we had no food with us. Had a quick chat to some people that have been here before. They said fish the grassier bank. So we were obviously fishing banks that were too steep this morning. So we're going to go out and have a crack at some swim baiting for them on some grassy banks. <laughs> We're just about to start, putting ourselves in about five metres of water. Yeah, there's a lot of weed. So we're in a good spot. That's what we want, isn't it? That's what we want. They sit on top of the weed, apparently. We're out of the wind a bit. Just realised I lost an ugg boot. My whole weekend is ruined. Just switched over the surface for the last 20 minutes of light, you reckon? Oh, I'd have to switch the cameras on and get switch the cameras off, go home, sulk, try it again tomorrow. It's gonna eat a massive steak. Yeah. We just gotta get the monkey off our back. Well, today has left me and Rod pretty disheartened. We're just packing up for the second time. Rod's sitting in the trailer, driving the boat and the trailer back to our campground. No fish. Tomorrow's gonna be a little better, I think. I think I'm a little dehydrated, I've got a massive headache. Not even like a sign of a fish, and that's what gets me the most. Like, we didn't even see one cod, one follow, one swirl, one touch. <sighs> back on the water tomorrow. We've got snacks this time, so I don't think we're hopping off the water tomorrow. I think we're just gonna pull like an all dayer. Gonna smash it tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be our day. Oh, and I lost one of my Ugg boots and both my socks. So tomorrow's gonna be a nightmare for me in the morning. Absolutely devastated. I chucked them both, I put them both neatly at the back of the boat. And it was really windy when we ran around the corner and I think one of them's just blown off. Really need joggies out here. The feet were so cold this morning, even with them on. Start of day two. I forgot my gloves. We picked a bank and we thought, you know what, this is it. We're just going to pepper it till we get something. Isn't that right? It is. It's nice and shallow as well. It's everything that we sort of <laughs> meant to supposedly be looking for. So. Reception. Service. <laughs> <And> oh. reception. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we're going over the other side then if it's got reception. Yeah, don't, want... don't want any distractions. <laughs> Oh, I can't. 
my hands came in tight. Freaking not. It's coming. not minus four though. It was meant to be no. minus four today. No. And it rained last night. I think that kind of must have cloud cover must have held in a little bit of the heat. We, we weren't even fine weather ready. <laughs> All right, changed over to the Triver Trail with a little chin weight. Getting rid of the surface. Oh, I saw ya. You raised your hand and that's what made it close. This is perfect. We're in like four or five meters of water casting at a weed bed. Oh, just slowly wound that all the way in and it was tangled. These thongs are having an adverse effect on the nice cushion of the boat. <sighs> Snuck break, yoga, almond, an apricot, oats. Oh, delicious. Oh my god, Rod. I know, it must have been a big chunk of weed. Yeah, I need to steal one of those little guts. If you had sand shoes on, I reckon you, you, you yeah, could get one. Yeah. <laughs> but you'd have to be a little bit worried that the mother would turn around and wallop you. I've been head butted by a goat. Just wound that in so yeah, slowly. Like, <laughs> because you went so slow, you didn't notice as well. Like it was <laughs> And it was such a good cast too, it was so far back down, I landed it right on the point. You get any? None? None. Where did it snap you off? Oh, just like halfway through my rod. Just had like a weak spot in my line. Oh, we haven't even got hit yet. We did like in the cove over there, but surface. Did in there, there's tons of bait in there, but we threw surface in there. Maybe we, yeah, maybe we should have thrown a swim bait. And then we went and we worked from that point all the way around and not a touch. It's what swim boat was it? Jackal. Oh, Gigant it's just one, one Oh, yeah. yeah. I got the chibi trail, I'll throw that. Oh, I left mine at home. I have big, the big brown dog one. Yeah, that's, that's what I was using. Yeah, <laughs> I left it at home. Yeah, going home now. Yeah. Oh, fishless trip. We'll keep going. Yeah. We got the whole day, we got snacks. We're going all day. See you later. <laughs> they Hooked a fish. I know. <laughs> there's not, there's not even a fish in this whole dam. <laughs> so complete nutter. This is where I come tomorrow. We're going to come here and we're going to hammer it. And we're going to go all the way around to the other side. That's what we're going to do, Rod. Yeah. We haven't even had a hit, a follow, a swirl. You name it. We haven't had it. This morning turned out to another epic fail and we were planning to fish all day. We even took snacks and everything with us. Anyway, so we plan to stay on the water all day, but look at this wind, it's blowing about 40, <laughs> blowing about 40 knots. I don't know if you can see down there, it's white capping. We had to jump off, so we decided to go for a little creek bash, so we're going to go out, chat, find some local creeks and see if we can catch some cod. Got excited because the guy at the campsite was just like, oh, you'll catch fish, you'll catch fish. So now Rod is uber keen, and that's why he's sitting in the car. So hopefully we can make it happen this afternoon. You ready, Rod? Mm -hmm. So we made it to our creek. So far, no luck. I really pictured this a little bit different. I pictured like a smaller creek. Yeah. It's so deep right here. Really I thought for sure we were landing some fish then. Oh, f off. Just rip my jeans. Oh, really? Yeah. Ripped him? Like. Oh. oh. Look at the size of that carp. Just saw a massive carp. It was like two foot long. Freaking big carp. We aren't having much luck following the sheep's tracks. <laughs> yeah, around that headland up there. How good does it look? Like, look at that log over there. They've got to have at least one fish on there, surely. Don't jinx it. I'm not even sure cod exist anymore. We should have bought like that two-man kayak. Paddle up, that'd be cool. We suck what at this, really. Right? Yeah, it's a couple of black goats. Black goats or something, yeah. Never really creek fish for cod, so I'm not really sure how to do it. But we're giving it a crack just to get out of the wind this afternoon. But all I've seen is about a 50 centimetre carp. 
It is gorgeous country though, got to admit that. How many did I get? Yeah. Under 10, but not over one. <laughs> so looking for some deeper holes, it looks pretty shallow. Might be a bit of a walk this afternoon before we get your cod. Rod's slowly losing his faith. We started off so good. Got one. I just, I'm just like dumbfounded. I've been flicking up and down this creek for hours, just trekking for Ks. No love in any way, not even a hint of a fish. And I've just like flicked under that log over there just as one like a last cast for a last ditch effort. And I'm, I think my exact words were, there is no fish here. There mustn't be any fish here. <laughs> Far out. What a beauty. I'm wrapped. I know it's tiny and everyone will laugh at me, but I'm pretty wrapped with that. So I lost my spinnerbait, ran out of battery, found a watermelon actually. That's my successful trip. Caught a turtle and hey, yeah, you did there's my watermelon that I found. <laughs> So we're keeping that. Very similar to Murray Cod pattern on that. Yeah. Mm. And Rod caught his first Murray Cod underneath the log. Couldn't believe it. <laughs> we're, it was literally the last cast because we were so over this. Well, we just finished day two. We're just hanging out around the fire. Check it out with all our mates. What are you doing, big fella? <laughs> Rod was the only one to catch a fish today, unfortunately. That uh, was good. Uh, worked hard for it, so he deserves his first first Murray Cod. So yeah, we're going to do one last effort in the morning on the dam, and then if 8 or 9 o'clock, call it quits, pack up, head out to some creeks for, until lunchtime, see if we can get at least one more cod each, or get one cod for me. That'd be great. The only thing I caught today was a turtle. <laughs> It's not like, oh, we'll quickly do these three banks and then we'll f It's like, no, you'll take three and a half hours to do that one bank. Yeah. And there might be a fish on it that's willing to eat your bait. I'm going to have my yogurt bar. And then we'll go. And then we're going. Good morning. We have been on the water since before sunrise on our third and final day on the dam. And still no fish. Not had the best of luck. My mattress never blew up from the moment we got here. I've lost an Ugg boot with both my socks in it. Split two pairs of pants. It's been a not so great weekend for me. Got two more, plan two more plans to go. We're gonna hit the caves. And if that doesn't work, then we're gonna go to the creek on the way home and see if we can get one last cod. Hopefully, fingers crossed, something turns out in the next five hours. Here we go, last day on the dam. This is it, final session. If we don't catch one, never coming back here again. Even if we do, still we will have to be dragged. Sticking with my trusty tribber trail. Well, the dam has officially beaten us. I'm gonna go have a hot can of soup and then try for a creek bash. That's the only success we've had, so we might as well give it another crack. Final stop before we've given up all hope of catching another cod for Rod. Catching my first cod for me. Got the purple spinnerbait on. It's my lucky spinnerbait, actually. I'm gonna stand next to the cod expert. So. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> you see my cast? It was probably the best cast I've ever done in my life. So would I, I would call it after a yellow belly. I'd be like, yeah, done. <laughs> you gotta catch. Then we have to go find the holes. Yeah, this is, I know. It's a I bit shallow. Test, yeah. Gotta find the holes. This is it. If we're gonna get a cod. There's just no fish, it's as simple as that. We're getting it deep into the bush and just no satisfaction. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> this is the coolest little creek we've found. If we fall through, it's definite brown snake bite. <laughs> That's it guys, I'm over this. What an exciting trip. Officially quit, quit fishing forever. Never coming back here again. No, I will have to because it's beaten me, so I have to beat it. So next time I will come back, one day, but not for a while. There's still plenty of other places to explore around Australia before we revisit good old Glenline. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.
Sorry about the no fish, but it was a long, hard weekend for not much reward for me. Just luck just didn't go my way. Oh well, till next time. Thanks for watching. Yeah, long drive back. Long sorry drive back.